All right, and let's deal with cigarettes. Which is tobacco. Here's the same argument. People say, well, we smoke herbs and this and this. And, and some of them told me, Bob, you know, my kid folks call me Bob. Bob, herbs in the Bible. Herbs in the Bible. God made herbs in the Bible. Of course he did. But well, my God, I want you to go and read about the uses for the herbs. Herbs, bitter herbs. They're used for food. It's in your Bible. They are used for food. Herb, you say herb in the Bible? Go in your Bible, pull up the herb scripture, and see that it was used for food. Food. Is the Bible right? But you for no smoking. All right. Same thing coming cigarettes. Well, God made tobacco. Yes, he made tobacco. What were the original uses for it? Now, men and women of God, you hear teach God word, preachers, missionary, whoever. Something you need to have a little knowledge of. Something you need to know the history of. When Paul went to, went to Athens, and Paul dealt with the people who had uh, images and uh, uh, idols and all different kind of gods, Paul dealt with them, and Paul spoke about what their poets had said. Say, your poet said this. So you need to have knowledge of things. Not just the Bible. All right. Well, did I come back? Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. You need to have knowledge. You need to do some history. Don't just take down because the world tells you something you take down without checking it out. You say, well, you world, you right. Devil, you right. The devil know the truth. You supposed to know it. You supposed to know the truth about cigarettes. You supposed to know the truth. Yes, God made tobacco, as I said. Yes, God made herbs, but not to smoke for food. That's what he said. That's what he said. For food. Back. God made tobacco. Now if you do history, if you study history and you do research and you will see some of the original uses for tobacco. And one of the main uses was it was a pesticide to keep the insects from eating up the crops. Uh huh. A pesticide. We talk. I'm talking history now. A pesticide to keep the insect from eating the crop. The tobacco dust. Put it around a tree. Uh huh. <laughs> and the insects. Get hold to their tobacco dust and stuff, and they won't come back no more when they will leave that tree alone. But when you get a whiff of it, you come back. Animals got more, insects got more sense than you. My God, we waking good. Thank God that God be the glory. Another of the uses, you wrap it up in a bandage. We talk about natural uses. Wrap it up in a bandage, and if you had a cut, it helped heal the cut. Put it on a bandage, it healed the uh, uh, the cut that you had on you. 
Now we down south, we know a use for it. If it gets stung by a bee, and the bee leave a sting in you, and you cannot get the stinger out, you put back. I saw it, dog. They all where we went to went to the ashes, you know the ashtray, and got the back of and put it on the bee sting, and that tobacco draw that stinger out. Oh yeah, it used it for tobacco. But when it comes to cigarettes and all that, you done left the natural use of it. You got they the man man done done some put chemicals and stuff in it. Well, on that note, let's go to the word of God. I want to show you some. Man make some, give you counsel, tell sell it, tell you to smoke it. Is that evil? Get you hooked. Is that evil? And nicotine uh uh was was is a man inventor. The rock took from tobacco. By Gene or Juan Nickhart, N I C O T. Read a book. <laughs> huh? And all the chemicals that's in the cigarettes and all that to get you hooked, to kill you. Actually, actually, it's, a, it's not necessarily to, the tobacco that kill you. It's all the stuff and chemicals that's in it that kill you. Uh, who who mixed those chemicals? Is that evil? Something to kill you? Is that evil? Well, you had cup bearers in the. Old Testament. The kings had cup bearers to take the wine to see was it poison. Is there is those cigarettes and cigars that sniff and back? Is it poison? You bet not tell a lie. I say is it poison? Yes, it is. Who invented that? The devil. To get you hooked, to get you on cancer, have you cancer and eating up your lungs and body, the devil. My God, let go away. Let go away and prove that. Is that evil? See, the man of God needs to be thoroughly furnished to deal with everything. If any lack of wisdom, let the master of God and God to give it. This is my calling. God called me. God made me. All right. Is, I, I ask you, was that evil? You can't say that it's not. Now, some say, I one I know say, well, I don't tell folks smoking or see you to hell. I tell them it may see you to heaven quicker. I wouldn't let nothing like that come out of my mouth. Don't you blaspheme. I wouldn't let nothing like that come out of my mouth. Cocaine, how can you preach against cocaine and crack and crystal meth and all that? But they can't preach against them now. All of that stuff got chemicals and all that kind of stuff in it. Woo! Let's stop here. Well, let me let me leave this with you. I asked you, was it evil? That stuff to make that kill you. That's what I asked you. The, the answer is yes. Let's read the book, the Bible, that's going to show you that it's evil. Go to Romans, the first chapter. Uh huh. I got the word of God that's coming to you. So you can preach right. All right. Call your bishop and tell him he don't know. Call your apostle. He's supposed to know. Call the prophet that see things. See if he can see this. Call your DD. 
your professor. Call everybody. Tell them to draw nigh to the truth. All right, Romans 1. I asked you, was it evil? The answer is yes. Romans 1 said that. Well, let's start at 28. Yes, it did with homosexual, but there's some more things in it. And even in 128, Romans 1, 28, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do the old things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, both of catches catch his neck. <coughs> Excuse me. Thirty inventors of evil things. Inventors of evil things. I ask you, was it evil? It's made to harm you. Yes, it's evil. I'll say it for you. Inventors. Now, this Bible I'm with now. Inventors of evil things. Things, what things? Everything that's evil. That cover everything. Fine, man, let me go and get another. Go, go, get, go to the go to Galatians 5. My God, I want the man of God. And the woman of God give you the truth about everything. And, and, and men and women of God, if you don't know a thing, just say you don't know it. Don't just take the word what the world say Galatians 5 I want to show you 519 now the works of the flesh are manifest which are the adultery fornication uncleanness lasciviousness idolatry witchcraft hatred variance immolation wrath strife sedition heresies envies murders drunkenness revelings Catch this. Just get everything. And such like, which I tell you before, as I've told you in time past, they would do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. And the 21st verse of the 5th chapter. And such like, that gets anything like that. Anything like before. And such like, and such like anything like that. Here's another. All the righteousness is sin. Is it right for you to do some? Take some that you uh, don't use a natural use and use it to give you can cancer. Is that the? Is that righteous? No. It's just like you drink a poison. Uh huh. The natural use. <clears throat> okay, let me stop here and come back.